Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. I hope you're getting, uh, you're having a good time, guys. So, in your classmates, get connected. I mean, most of you are getting connected. Okay, so how was your day, guys? How was your your day at work? Was everything okay? Was everything fine? Mm -hmm. Alright, some of you are just getting connected as listeners. Okay, so, but anyways, so let's just start, guys, because we got a lot of things uh, to be working on tonight. So, let me see. Adi Beatriz. Is Adi here? Okay, so she's not here. Ana Cristina. Okay, so she's not here. Brian Aldair. Present teacher. Okay, good. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, Claudia Marcela. Mm, all right, so I guess she's there, but... She's gonna be as a listener. Joris Alejandra. Present. Okay. Evelyn. Teacher, Karina. solo que creo que Marcela le puso un mensaje que iba a ser de oyente un momento. Estaba de Marcela. In the chat? Yes. Let me see. Mm, quizá lo puso antes de que me conectara porque no tengo nada, pero anyways that's ok, thank you for letting me know ok gracias por, decir, por mencionarlo ok alright, so Evelyn Karina present teacher ok, cool, uh, Graciela Saray Graciela Arrasa, she's not here Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Ok, Irma del Tránsito. Ok, so just not here. Jacqueline Yvonne. Ok, so just not here. Uh, Juan Carlos. I didn't hear teacher. Ok, good. Katia Maria. Okay, so Katia is not here. Kenya Maricela. Present. Okay, good. Maritza Elizabeth. Okay, Marisa, it's getting connected. Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Pedro Rigoberto. Present. Okay, good. Rosalí Ivón. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Susana Carolina. Susana, okay, so she's not here. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. So basically, with this, we can get it done. Okay, guys. So before uh, moving on to the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight, I would like to start with a short, you know, like review about what we were doing last class right so i hope you had a, had a good day yesterday and 
today, guys. So let's start with that. Let's start with a short feedback about what you were doing. All right, last class. So what do you guys remember about the last class? What was the most relevant uh, that we were practicing? We are we are studying the topic industry vocabulary. Ah, okay, very good. So we were discussing about the industry vocabulary. Okay. What and else? After that, a conversation. Ah, okay, cool. After that, so we were practicing a conversation. Good. Besides that. And some exercise in the manual. Okay, good. So we were practicing some exercises in the manual, right? Okay, so uh, we stayed in the last, in exercise number five from yesterday, right? Related to this. And um, you did number six, but we didn't check it, right? Hicimos el ejercicio seis, si no me equivoco, pero no lo revisamos, correcto? Yes. Perfect. So we are going to start with that, guys. We're going to check what you did there. And then we are going to start with the topic that we are going to be discussing today. So I'm going to share this. Okay. This was basically the last part that we were practicing last class, right? That we did not complete. And it says, write a sentence to describe the expertise and the industrial classification of the businesses below. It says, share your sentences with a partner. And you got, for example, the number one. It says, fresh and live. It says, at fresh and live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Okay. Uh Guys, what did you write down uh, uh, with fix and care? Alguien, algún voluntario que me ayude a leer lo que escribió en esta parte? Fix and care. Um, at fix and care, we fix your cards. We are in the automotive industry. Industry. Ah, okay, there you go. Thank you, Juan. Very good. Now, what about the enjoy and travel? Um, Guillermo, what did you and your classmate write down here? Um, at enjoy and travel, we offer different options to travel. We are in the tourist industry. In the tourism industry. Okay, very good. There you go. Now, business and uh, business bank. Let me see who can help me out with this. The person who did it here last class. So, oh, Evelyn? What do you have in this one, Evelyn? Business bank. Business bank. <laughs> Uh, okay, you got it in the finance industry, but before that, what do you say? Antes de mencionar finance industry, podrían repetirlo, por favor, que no le escuché. Sería a fish y like we distribute so thing. Ah, no, eh, uh, Evelyn, 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 eh, business bank. Que escribió en la, en la, en la ah, última, business bank. Ok, 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 sería business bank. Ajá. Uh -huh. I live with distribute. So drink, we are in the in the finance industry. Okay, in the finance industry. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about the last one? The Sun Resort. 
Katia, were you here last class? Okay, and... Can you help me on reading the last one, the Sun Resort? Lo voy, lo voy a buscar porque no me acuerdo dónde lo puse. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Let's look at it. <laughs> o si no nos menciona con quién estuvo trabajando, si no lo encuentra, pues a lo mejor esa persona. Yes, con Cristina, Ana Cristina. Um, no recuerdo dónde los anoté, teacher. Ana Cristina. Ah, oh, pero Ana Cristina es no here, I guess. Let's see. Ana Cristina. Uh, oh, Maritza. Maritza. Where is Maritza? Ah, yeah, mi Maritza Elizabeth. Are you there, Maritza? Eh, Do you remember? Oh, pero los anotamos donde está. No los no tomé nota, bitch. <laughs> ok, ok. Let me see. Mm, Rosalie. Yes, teacher. What are you having at the, sí. um, at the Sun Resort, um, we offer inter entertainment and rest. We are the touring, touring industry. Okay, in the tourism industry. Okay, very good. Okay, it goes on that industry. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rosalie. Thank you. All right. Now, so that was basically, all right, the last exercise that we were practicing last class, all right, and it was missing for us to check. Now, I'm going to stop sharing in here, guys, because I want to show you what we have for this class. Give me a second. Oh yeah, this is the. All right, so basically this is the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight, guys. Simple present information question. When you hear the word information question, guys, what do you think is that about? Cuando escuchan estas frases, information questions. ¿A qué tienen referencia? Mm, they are asking about uh, something in specific. You're asking about something in a specific? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So basically, uh -huh, in part, it's right what you said. It's true, right? So as the word it says, information questions. It's basically those type of questions that we generally ask just to get information about something, right? This kind of questions differs from a gestural question in the aspect that in here, we generally ask for information, right? So let's uh, discuss a little bit about that and uh, let's see what is this about. All right, so what is like the most relevant that we got for the agenda? We got that review from the previous class, algo que acabamos de terminar, right? So after that review, so we're going to start like right now with the information questions, introduction and structure. We're going to be discussing that, the structure. You guys are going to help me out with a couple of examples. At the end, we're going to work on a series of exercises in the manual, right? And of course, we're going to be working in a couple of uh, activities, including a conversation in the manual as well. Right, so that's like the most relevant. Now, simple present information questions. 
All right, Maritza, help me a reading, please. Information question are used to ask a specific information about a person, day, or situation. Okay, very good. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Okay, generally, when it says this, guys, information questions are used to ask specific information about a person, place, or situation. Basically, remember, we got to focus on the beginning of the question in order to identify what we want to ask about, right? Okay, and uh, with this, guys, when it comes to information questions, ¿cómo creen ustedes que comenzamos por lo general una information question? ¿Cuál es la primera palabra que yo debo de colocar al inicio? Do you guys remember the structure about this kind of questions? Or do you have any idea? And the what? 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 Who? Who? When? Where? How? How? The we? How? Okay, generally, all right. Generally, we include the famous WH question, guys. WH Words, let's put it like this, words. Which ones are those ones? You got what, what time, what kind of, where, when, when. Which, who. Why? We use who generally with the preposition with, and then we got why. why. Exactly. These ones, guys, are like the most common WH words that we generally use all right that we generally use to talk about questions okay or information questions like what we got there oops i'm gonna put it in black in here okay so let's move on with this example. All right, check this question out, guys. Marvin, help me a reading, please. Where do you work? Ah, okay. Thank you, Marvin. So it says, where do you work? Where do you work? Okay, it makes reference to generally uh, the place, right? Remember, in this case, if you ask, where do you work? The key, the key on this question that you've got to remember all the time is what it's asking here. And it says where, right? So basically in this question, I am asking about what? I'm asking about a location. I'm asking about a place. Right, so in the answer, what you gotta focus mostly in answer is in mentioning the place, right? For example, ah, check this one out. I mean, I work in, and then you mention the place, right? So this is just an example. I work in Super Selectos. I work in a, what? In a supermarket, all right? You cannot even mention a place. Or if you don't want to mention a place, uh, the place, the name of the place where you work, you can even mention the location where you work, right? Like in my case, so I can say, I mean, I work in an academy. I work in uh, what? You can even mention a place like, I work in Usulutan, for example, or I work in San Miguel. So in that case, I am even mentioning places, right? With my answer. Remember, ¿qué es lo que da respuesta a esta pregunta? Esta parte. Oops, give me one second. Location. Exactly. Esto es lo que da respuesta a la pregunta. The place, the location, right? 
That's what it is uh, providing the answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so check this one out, right? And it says, what does she do? What does she do? What am I want to ask with this question? ¿Qué estoy preguntando acá? What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? Exactly, right? ¿Qué hace ella? What does she do? So in this case, a possible answer will be Brian, help me a reading. She supervised the production department. Okay. She supervises the production department. Okay, there you are. Thank you, Brian. Right? So she supervises the production department, it says. Okay, and you got the answer there. Good. So try to copy that, guys, please. Tratemos de copiar esa parte. So let me know when you finish and I can move on to the next slide, okay? Give me one second. I'm sharing something. Let me know when you finish writing this. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Finish. Okay, great. So let's continue with now the structure of this. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the structure, okay? Uh, ok, Cristina, thank you for letting me know. Ok, gracias por haberme lo mencionado. Now, the structure of this topic. All right, so the structure is the following one. Check this one out. Carlos Rivas, help me on reading the structure, please. Double H word plus the dice plus subject plus bear in basic form plus complement. Okay, very good. Thank you, mister. So it says, guys, WH word. Recuerden, la WH word puede ser cualquiera de las que estuvimos mencionando anteriormente, right? What, what time, where, when, okay, who. All of those ones are like the WH words that we generally can start a question with, right? After the WH word, okay, Remember, what do we need? Ah, we need an auxiliary verb, right? An auxiliary verb. And which one is the auxiliary verb that we generally use? Okay, si recuerdan de módulos anteriores, right? Especialmente del módulo, el módulo pasado, estuvieron viendo los usos del presente simple, right? Tenemos que do y does es un verbo auxiliar, right? Do es más que todo para primera persona, right? When it comes to I, you, we, and they, and does is mostly for third person or singular form. So in that case, it's when we talk about he, she, it, or a name of a person, right? A person's name. So in that case, guys, it's basically what we know as auxiliary verb. Okay, good. Now, after the auxiliary verb do or does, we got the subject. Remember, guys, the subject can be any noun or any pronoun, right? Pronouns like I, you, 
he, she, okay? All those ones are called pronouns, right? Now, after that, guys, what do we need after the subject? Ah, we need a verb in base form. Necesitamos ahí un verbo en forma base. Cuando referimos a forma base, recuerden, es cuando hablamos en simple present, right? Okay, good. Plus what? Plus complement. ¿Para qué nos sirve el complemento? Pues básicamente para especificar lo que estamos preguntando, right? Porque no es lo mismo decir si yo les digo, hey, where do you play? All right. Llevo el verbo play, pero termino la pregunta a solo en verbo en forma base. Where do you play? Ah, pero sería genial si yo incluyo un complement que me especifique qué es lo que estoy preguntando, right? O qué tipo de juegos que soy por el cual estoy preguntando. For example, if I say, ah, where do you play soccer? That is different, right? Because soccer is the complement. Now it makes my question more specific. Right? Entonces, un complemento lo que hace es hacer una pregunta más específica. Right? So, after the complement, what do you have? Ah, you got a question mark, right? Y ya después de ese complemento tenemos la, el signo de pregunta. Ok, so, veámoslo en contexto esta estructura. And we got a couple of examples in here. So, check this one out. Carlos Antonio, help me out reading the first question. Where does Marta sell emails? Ah, okay, very good. Where does Marta send emails? Okay, there you go. ¿Por qué tenemos das? A ver si lo recordamos. Porque es tercera persona. Exactly. Este das es porque acá estoy mencionando la palabra Marta. O sea... Un singular, right? Un nombre en singular. And it is in third person, right? Recuerden, cuando este suceso que ocurre y se coloca das, ya el verbo principal va en forma base. Acá no se modifica, ¿ok? Acá el verbo no se le agrega S, e S o I, E, S. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo auxiliar ya hizo la acción, right? So, ya se modificó a tercera persona. Cuando nosotros vamos a modificar el verbo principal? Ah, cuando respondamos. So, check this answer out, guys. Juan, help me reading. He sends emails to other branches. Branches, okay, so she sent emails to other branches. So, what happened in here, guys? Puesto que acá no llevamos un auxiliar, el verbo está en la obligación de cambiar a tercera persona, okay? Entonces, ¿qué agregamos ahí? Pues, básicamente, a la mayoría de verbos le agregamos una S. We write down an S form, right? So now let's check another example. Check this out, guys. Adi, are you there, Adi? What do you do? Thank you. Okay, cool. What do you do? ¿A qué nos referimos con esta pregunta? What do you do? ¿Alguien que me ayude? ¿A qué te dedicas? Yes. Okay, cool. The first one, it can be, ah, mira, ¿qué te dedicas? Right? Esa puede ser la función central de esa pregunta. Ok, y si queremos ser más específicos y mencionar eh, que si estamos hablando sobre una profesión o algo, podemos incluir for a living. What do you do for a living? Right? So, and that specifically refers to your profession. So, Check this one out. Teresa. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. En este caso, así como el what do you do, eh, podría traducirse como el qué estás haciendo. O en este caso, el do tendría que ser doing. 
Yes, en este caso aquí tendremos que cambiar toda la estructura, eh, Teresa. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Va, miren. Ajá, pero si le preguntaba si, es, si se traducía así. No, en este caso es eh, a qué te dedicas en sí, Teresa. Vaya, la pregunta que usted eh, se le vino, como la traducción que se le vino a usted en mente de eso de qué estás haciendo, ¿ok? Acá, desde que usted traduce, ¿qué estás? Viene del verbo ser o estar, right? Entonces acá uh -huh. cambia su estructura, Teresa. Y ya no es what do you do, sino what are you doing? Uh -huh. Doing. Ya, ya, Exacto. 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 Entonces, Gracias, ahora, ya tenemos el verbo to be. Ajá. Yeah. So in that case, that's the way. Right? Good. So we got what do you do? Ah, it says I train new employees, right? So that's basically the function of this person in the workplace. Ah, what is the function? Ah, train new employees, right? Capacitar nuevos empleados. Good. Guys, do you have any question up to now? Hasta acá tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta. Something that you might get troubles with, guys. Algo que no comprendamos hasta acá. No te chulo. Everything okay? Okay, there you go. That's cool. Makes me think that everything is running okay. Give me one second. I'm gonna move on. Una consulta, teacher. Yes. El DAW se va a ocupar solo en este, en estas cuestiones. El DU. Para tercera persona. Sí, el DU. Yes, do, el, el auxiliar DU por lo general se utiliza más que todo en el simple present, right? Ah, ok. Ah, recuerde, do, ok, y en tercera persona es do, pero ya modificado con la e y la s. And you got does, ok. Recuerde que do lo conjugamos con he, she, it, and singular nouns. Cuando nos referimos a singular nouns, podemos decir Katia, por ejemplo. Maritza. It's only one person, right? So, in that case, that is a singular noun. And do, it's mostly used for he, she, it, and it's for I, you, we, and they. And plural nouns. When plural nouns, cuando nos referimos a plural nouns, podemos decir the students, all right? O si queremos mencionar un nombre propio, Marvin and one, for example. Okay? So in here, I got two people, Marvin and Juan. Ah, y aquí ya no mencionamos solo uno. Mencionamos los dos, right? Marvin and Juan. You see? Esa es la forma en cómo va distribuida. Okay? El uso de los auxiliares. O bueno, de este auxiliar. Cool. Any other question, guys? ¿Alguna otra pregunta que tengamos? ¿Alguna pequeña duda? ¿Something? ¿Everything okay? Okay, perfect. So I guess everything is running okay with all of you guys. There you go. Now, guys, having this. Can you please help me out writing one example question? ¿Podrían escribirme, por favor, una pregunta en primera persona? On first person. 
using you, okay? Write down one question, please. When you finish, let me know. Help me out, please, with one question. So let me know when you finish the question, okay? Finish. Okay, thank you, Rosalie. Finish. Perfect. Finish. Okay, perfect. Did the rest finished? Terminaron los demás? Finish. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna start with the first one. Guillermo, can you please help me reading your question? Mm, yes, uh, what are you eating? What are you doing? Eating. Ah, what are you eating? Okay, but that's progressive, right? Yes, es, es una forma progresiva, right? ¿Lo tiene así? What are you eating? ¿Correcto? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Va, vamos a hacer un cambio, Guillermo, porque este es present progressive, este es progresivo y esta no es la estructura que hemos, hemos estamos que estamos compartiendo, ¿ok? Transfórmeme esta pregunta en presente simple, por favor. Incluyame el auxiliar do. ¿Cómo quedaría, Guillermo? Mm, what do you eat? Exactly. What do you eat? Y ya nos queda la pregunta. Ahora sí, de acuerdo a la estructura que tenemos. Thank you, Guillermo. That's the question. What do you eat? Juan, help me read in yours. Um, where do you live now? Okay, where do you live now? There you go. Ah, with those ones. With those ones, guys. No sé si ustedes sabían esta diferencia. Where do you live? And where are you living? ¿Saben la diferencia en cómo usar estas dos oraciones? Es, bueno, estas dos preguntas. ¿Alguien me First, podría decir la diferencia? Entiendo que es una eh, eh, como dónde vives actualmente y el otro es dónde estás viviendo. No sé si lo explico bien, pero más o menos así lo entiendo. Ah, va, miren. En términos un poco más sencillos. Where do you live? Es básicamente cuando le estoy preguntando sobre su ubicación o su dirección, pero de hogar estable, ¿ok? De que es su, su, su residencia, donde usted 
eh, reside, ¿ok? Que usted no se anda moviendo de un lado a otro, que ese es como a uh, su lugar, right? De residencia. Ahora bien, si yo le pregunto, where are you living? Como Teresa lo dijo, right? Ah, ¿dónde estás viviendo? Cool. Este, ¿cuándo o en qué situaciones yo lo voy a utilizar? Ah, básicamente es para preguntar sobre dónde están viviendo, pero cuando se refiere a un lugar o una ubicación temporal, right, temporal, ok, asimismo en la forma de respuesta, si yo digo, I live in San Miguel, ok, so, vivo en San Miguel, este es mi lugar de residencia, ok, mi lugar estable, ah, pero si yo digo, Ah, but because of my work, now I am living in San Salvador. All right, good. Significa que por motivos de trabajo o de otra índole, yo estoy en San Salvador viviendo, pero es algo temporal, ¿ok? So, entonces, cuando es algo temporal, usamos el present progressive. Y cuando es algo estable, usamos el simple present. Esa es la diferencia entre esos dos. I have you to keep in mind that, guys. Okay. Good. So, let's continue. Katia, help me reading your question. What time do you usually arrive at work? Okay, very good. Good question, Katia. Thank you. Maritza. What time do you get up every day? Ah, okay, very good. Good question. Marvin. Where do you where do you play soccer on Saturday? Okay, very good. Where do you play soccer on Saturdays? Nice. Evelyn. Is Evelyn there? Okay, I guess Evelyn is not there. Cristina, you okay now? Can you participate or you you need more time yet? Christy? Okay, so I guess she's not there either. Teresa? Hi, teacher, no he escrito. Ah, you don't have a question? No, teacher. Okay, hágala. Usted va a ser la última en preguntarle, ok? Ok, está bien. Nice. Rosalie? What do you think? Ah, yes, that's the question, right? What do you think? Okay, very good. What do you think? Yeah, that's normal. Thank you, Rosalie. Carlos Enrique? What do you need in this week? What do you need? Um, eliminémosle el in y solamente dejemos this week. What do you need this week? Correct. There you go. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, let me see who's next. Carlos Antonio. What do you say? Okay, what do you say? Uh, let me see who else. Adi. Okay, what do you cook in the morning? Hmm, what do you cook in the morning? Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Adi. And the last one, Jacqueline. Aún les estoy haciendo noticia porque voy entrando. Ajá, okay, good. No problem. Let me know when you finish, okay? 
All right. Somebody else? Ah, Teresa. Ok, Teresa, let's go. Sí, teacher, perdón, no, lo, no las tenía, pero hoy sí. Why does she cry? Uh -huh. Le digo todas las que escribí. Ok, let's do it. Where do you work? When do you come? What do you say? And what does she cry? Ok, very good. There you go. Thank you, Teresa. All right. Let me see who else can help me out with that. All right, so I guess everybody is here, right? Let me see. I'm going to stop here. Okay. Now, guys, now that you write down your questions, ahora lo que me van a hacer es me le van a dar respuesta a estas preguntitas. I think it's, it's like that. Yeah. All right. Quiero que me copien estas preguntas y déjenme un renglón de por medio y me le dan respuestas, por favor. Okay? What do you do in your job? What does she supervise? Where does he work? What department do you manage? And who do you report your job to? Okay? So copy them and at the end, Right, you will read the answers for me. So if you have any question, guys, just let me know, okay? Remember to let me know when you finish. Terminando de copiar las preguntas, ya solo falta poner las respuestas, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's remember, guys, if you have any question about something or any doubt about a structure, please let me know, okay?
Finnish teacher. Perfect, perfect. So let's wait for your classmate to finish. Remember guys, let me know if you need help. Did everybody finished? Ya están por terminar la mayoría. La tres voy. Donde estuvo. Jacqueline. Donde dice where does where does he work se refiere a la dirección o nombre de la empresa. Where does he work? All right. So, in ese caso, usted puede, eh, usted es libre de colocar, con tal sea una dirección, un lugar. No matter oh, okay. where is, okay. Y ahí sí no importa cuál realmente es el lugar que, eh, que, que usted pueda colocar. Finish teacher. Okay, thank you, Rosalie. Finish the Okay, perfect. Thank you, Evelyn.
Ok, so, creo que ya la gran mayoría ha terminado, por lo menos la mayor parte. Ok, good. So, let's start with these questions, guys. So, Juan, what do you do in your job? Ok, I hope you are well. <laughs> ok, um, I do supervisory task and monitoring. Ok, very good. There you go. Thank you, Juan. Now, Juan, choose one of the questions and I want you to ask one to Katia. Escoja una y okay. les a la Katia. Katia, what does she supervise? I am not in charge of supervise. Now, listen up, Katia. Okay. What does she supervise? ¿Qué supervisa ella? No es como de qué superviso. No, ¿qué supervisa ella? She. Y aquí estamos hablando de una tercera persona, uh -huh. de, una, de alguien más. Ok. okay. Uh, she does supervise the quality products. Ok, so en este caso ya no decimos she does. Ya el auxiliar does ya no va. Solamente el verbo. Y el verbo ya modificado en tercera persona, que en este caso solo le agregamos una S, ¿ok? Y decimos... Ok. She supervises... Supervises and quality products. Quality products. Very good. So that's the way. Now, choose one question, Katia, and ask that one to Maritza. Quiero que escoja de todas esas una pregunta y se la haga ella. Okay. Uh, what department do you manage? Okay, what department do you manage? I manage the accounting department. Okay, cool. You go. I manage the accounting department. Nice. Maritza, choose one of the questions and ask Evelyn. Evelyn, where does he work? Okay, good. San Salvador, Campanas, Molina. Repeat again, Evelyn. San Salvador, Company Los Molinos. Molinos, Molinos, perdón. Ok, good. Es correcto. Here you see. Now, choose one, Evelyn, and ask Brian. Okay. Um, do you report you have to? Uh, so the manager. Repeat again. Uh, to, the, to the manager? No, está bien, no. To the manager? Sí. Okay, who do you report to uh, your job to? Okay, I report to the manager. Ah, okay. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's better that way. Too. Cool. Now, Brian, choose one question and ask Marvin. What do you do in your job? Okay. What do you do in your job? In your job. Okay. What do you do in your job, Marvin? I prepare, I prepare to, I prepare the testing sample. Okay, very good. There you go. Good. Now, Marvin, choose one and ask Rosalie. 
Where does he, he work? Nice. Rosalie? What? Again, please. <laughs> okay. Marvin is asking. Where does he work? Where does he work? Is this the, is the question? Yes. He works in the laboratory spy. Ah, okay, very good. Now, Rosalie, let's read the question and Cristina will answer. Okay, Cristina. Yes. <laughs> Who do you report your job to? Okay. I report the academic boss or the coordinator. Ah, okay. The academy boss or the coordinator. Okay. Hey, by the way, uh, Christina, where is the coordinator? What? Where is the coordinator? Uh, Susana Rosales. <laughs> that was the one I did. Our co workers. Ajá. Que por cierto se me desconectó. Let me see. Doris. Yes. Ah, no, pero ya viene. <laughs> ya la vi. Okay, good. Now, Cristina, help me out reading. A question and Maritza will answer. Okay. Hi, Maritza. Um, Hi. What do you do in your job? All right, good. I review invoices, file documents, and process information. Okay, very good. Now, Maritza, read one question and ask Carlos. Uh, since I got two Carlos. Carlos. Rivas. What, what does she supervise? Okay, what does she supervise? She, is, she supervises the employees. Okay, very good, Carlos. Now, Carlos, read one, a question. And uh, Teresa will answer. Teresa, good evening. What good department evening. do you manage? Do you manage? Man do you manage? Good. I manage the multimedia department. Ah, okay, very good. The multimedia department. Now, Teresa, ask Carlos Enrique. Um, Yo teacher acabo. Pero bueno, démosle. Carlos. No, 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 give me one second, give me one second, one second, one second. No, 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 no. Okay. No. It's the mismo, Carlos. No, Carlos Antonio. Okay. That's the one. Sorry. Okay, teacher. Carlos Antonio. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Carlos, what do you report your job to? I report to the general manager. Okay, I, I report right to the general manager. Okay, very good. Now, Carlos ask. Let me see, Doris is as a listener. Adi. Carlos? Hello? Can you ask Adi? Okay. Um, where does he work? Where does he work, Abby? Okay, he works in the bank agricola. Okay, all right, or oh, in uh, the agricola bank. Ah, me was crazy. Agricola. Okay, agricola bank. Okay, perfect. The agricola one. Hoy recibí un correo de la agricola. Agrícola. <risa> Diciendo. 
que había metido mal mi clave y que no sé qué. Y yo, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que abrí esa? <risa> That was funny. Uh, Dios <risa> that's a big blackmail. Uh, all right. so, sospechoso. Exactly. Lo, lo raro era la, la, el dominio con el cual tenía que entrar. <laughs> That was funny. Oh my God. Abby, read the question uh, to let's see. Jacqueline. Okay. Jacqueline. Okay. Okay. Would you report your job to? Nice. Uh, I report, brother. I report. I report to my box of Audi. Uh, okay, I report to my boss. Okay, there you go. Now, Jacqueline, can you ask that question to me? Uh, no sé quién sí. <laughs> to me. Ah, okay. Uh, what does you supervise? Repeat again. What does what does you supervise? Okay. okay. What? Ah, sería he in that? esa casa. Ah, uh, okay. What does he? Supervise. Supervise. Yes, super. Okay, so he basically supervises. All right, uh, let me see. The production, all uh, right, department. Okay, so let's put it that way. Okay. Good, guys, good. So I'm going to stop sharing this. All right, so you provided good answers to those questions, guys. But now I want you to go to page... 21 from your manuals. Porque nos vamos a la página 21 de sus manuales, right? Now we're going to be in, uh, using or putting in practice what we gather from the presentation. Okay, good. I guess, guys, you can see my screen. So this is like the conversation that we got to practice tonight. It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Mrs. Mrs. Tate arrived to the restaurant. She will train the personnel. Mr. John, the owner, welcomes her, right? And it says, Mrs. Tate and Mr. John, okay? Mrs. Tate says, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Are you Mr. John? It says Mr. John. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, let me see. Mrs. Tate, it says, I'm Mrs. Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. It says, Mr. John. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Tate. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Tate. Let me introduce the staff. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. This is Mario. Let me see. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Okay, listen up. Okay, let me see. This is Mario. He, he's the branch manager and this is Leo. It says, Mario says, welcome. Welcome. Nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you. Mrs. Tate says, nice to meeting you, Mario. Nice to meeting you, Mario. It says, nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, and it says, let me see, nice to meet you. I'm in church of the kitchen staff. I'm in church of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? What does the girl over there do? And Mr. John says, She's Nisa. She is Nisa. She's in church of purchases. She is in church of purchases. Okay, there you go, guys. From this conversation that you got in here, did you have any question? Any doubt? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario visto en esta conversación? No? Okay. Uh, yes, teacher. I have a question. Yeah, go on. Can, can you repeat the pronunciation of the last word? Purchases. Purchases. Okay. Okay. Very Thank good. you. All right. No problem. Good, guys. If you have finished and you don't have questions, I'm going to stop sharing this. Okay. And I want we to practice this short conversation, guys. Okay. Y quiero que nos vayamos a practicar esa pequeña conversación. Okay. Luego de la práctica, les voy a asignar un par de minutos y me van a desarrollar el ejercicio 3 que está ahí, guys. Okay. Que es lo único que van a hacer. Let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it there. Okay. Cuando terminemos de leer la conversación y practicarla, nos vamos a venir acá. Vamos a tratar de llenar estas prompts, right? Estos inicios de pregunta. Ok, ustedes solo van a colocar el verbo y el auxiliar, right? That's what it is. Good, so I'm going to stop now sharing this and I'm going to send you to work, guys. Give me a second. Okay, let me see. Brian, you're participating, right? Sí. Okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Second, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Tuve un bajón de energía <laughs> y de internet. Give me one second. I'm gonna do this all over again. Oh my god, Jesus. Permítame un segundo.
Ok, cool. All right. Now, démosle aceptar. And let's go to practice, guys. <risa> vaya, yo seré Mario también y usted sea Leo. Oye. Mm, vaya. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you. Leo, what do you do? Nice to meet you. Um, I share of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Young. What does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sí, está bien. Se me cambio. Okay. Hoy usted es mis state. Mis state. Hello. Good morning. Are you Miss John? I'm Mr. Uh, uh, Miss Tate, uh, let me introduce the staff. This this is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Good call, nice to meet you. Um, luego va otra vez usted porque como Mario no tiene, ah, hay okay. un tercero. Eh. Okay, nice. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Good, oh, Miss Mister John. What do? What does? What does the hill over there do? Uh, Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Uh, nice to meet you. I am chair of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's, she's Nisa. She's in charge of pur purchase. 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 Bueno, hoy empiezo yo otra vez. Ahora. Uh -huh. Bye. Hello, good morning. Uh, Mr. John. Yes, I am. I am Mr. Tate. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Tay. Let me introduce the staff. Uh, the is Mario, he is the boss manager, and the is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the gear over there do?
chief, is a chief in charge of purchases. Okay. Respondemos la pregunta. Mm. Teacher, ¿la respondemos ya o usted nos va a indicar? No, pueden comenzar ya, una vez ya terminadas, pueden darle de repasar la conversación, no problem. Ah, ok, thank you. Ok. Ok, la primera es, what, what do Mario do? Yo sí le puse. What does Mario do? Si gusta, sí, póngale. Esa es what you... What does Mario do? He is the ranch manager. He is? He is the branch manager. Mario, ¿verdad? Ajá, y la respuesta sería... He... Pero es que eh... sí. Mario, Mario, Mario. ¿Qué supervisa? Ajá. What does Mario supervise this is it. all right guys give me one second ya regreso voy por el cargado de mi okay all right okay teacher me dijo que supervisa verdad ajá uh -huh. what does mario supervise uh -huh. no sé si está bien what does mario What does Mario supervise? ¿Qué hace? What does Mario supervise? Sí, que no está bien, no está bien. Mario, Mario supervisado. Yo no la hago. Pues no, es, no escucho que se oiga mal. Supervise. Pero supervise es un... Ah, pero está bien, ¿verdad? Porque dijo que podíamos usar los, los noms. A ver si no me equivoco. El das podríamos usar los noms... A ver... Los noms singular. Ah. En el das. Pero super... Supervise. Lo siento, estoy teniendo problemas de internet. No le escuché. Hola. Ah, no, te decía de que es das, este, bueno, podríamos ocupar. Eh, las regálame tres. un minuto, voy a cambiar, voy a cambiar el. el no problema, no la... problema. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Go on. And okay. I have a question. And podemos podemos hacer uso de el en la primera en la parte tres estamos ya con con Katia. Ajá. Tenemos ahí esa confusión si podemos ocupar al final, eh, o sea, si, bueno, estaríamos irrespetando ¿no? la, la estructura, pero para la pregunta, what does Mario doing? Is correct? No, ¿verdad? Solamente what does Mario do? Uh, doing, teacher, is correct. Doing. Doing so, perdón, doing solo se ocupa cuando ya no llevamos das, sino is. 
what is Mario doing? Ahí sí, pero acá eh, con el does no se puede utilizar doing. Solamente do. But is, but is correct. Then uh, what does Mario do? Uh -huh. In what does Mario supervise? Yes. Is correct. Yes. What does Mario supervise? Okay. Continue. In the answer is correct. He supervised the batches, branches of of restaurant. Yeah, solo que ahí sería supervises, supervises. Uh -huh, supervises. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that I'm sorry. Yeah. My pronunciation is. <laughs> yeah, but in that case, it will be like that. Okay. De una sola vez respondámosla entonces, este, Katia. La dejamos con What does Mario do? Ah, uh, ajá. Uh -huh. He's a supervisor. O, o me dijo que era. He's a. Me, yo le había puesto. He supervises the branches of restaurants. O sea, okay. él supervisa los, las sucursales del restaurante. He supervises. He supervises the branches of restaurants. Oh, of the restaurant. Okay. Nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, second, Katia. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, are you about to finish? Eh, solo estamos ahí en las, en las preguntas. Ya que, que vamos a hacer ahí. Um, pero estábamos en la, en la última teacher Ajá. Y, y estábamos buscando ahí si había algún restaurante o algún nombre o de empresa o algo pero no, solo aparece que es un staff uh -huh. ¿verdad? entonces no sé si se repitiera o está bien la pregunta de question number one what does Mario in the staff he, uh, and the answer is his branch manager he's in charge of what do you do he is in charge of the chicken kitchen staff mm -hmm. the kitchen staff is Leo Leo uh -huh. What do you do, Leo? He's in charge of the kitchen. He's in charge of the kitchen stuff, who says. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, the first question will be, what does Mario do, right? I think Mario? that's the first Ahí, this is Mario. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. Ajá. Yeah. What does yeah. Mario do? He's the branch manager. Okay, very good. Now mm -hmm. it says, what do you do, Leo? Ajá. I'm in charge of the kitchen and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and another... number, number three. three eh... Y vamos a escribir igual, teacher. What does Nisa in the staff? No. What does Nisa do? Ah, ok. Ah, ah. What does Nisa do? Ok. Ok. She's in the church, church of church. purchases. Ok. Nisa mm. is in search of purchases. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is charge of purchases. Okay, perfect. Oh, you said mistake, you, Mr. Young. Ah, no. Bye. Sí, verdad? 
Okay. So, Hi, yes, teacher. Hi. <laughs> okay. Le hacemos la, la, la pregunta a ver si están buenas. Uh, no. Eh, ya no. podíamos hacer la pregunta. Yes. Okay. Um, the number one. Pusimos, what does Mario in the work? ¿Es correcto o incorrecto? Okay, in that case, it would, wouldn't be like that much necessary like to just do. So, what does Mario do? Uh -huh. What does Mario do? Solo así. All right, yeah. He, and you will say, he's the branch manager. Oh. He's the branch manager, exactly. Esa fue nuestra respuesta. Ya el librito nos la daba. Okay. Number two, si gusta, le hace la braille. What do you do, Leo? Así estaría bien. Mm -hmm. What do you do, Leo? Okay, the answer. Okay. Um, in charge of the kitchen staff. Esa es la respuesta. Okay, I'm in charge of the kitchen staff, yes. Okay. Y number three, what does Nisa do, sería? All right, what does Nisa do, exactly? Okay, nosotros le habíamos puesto, what does Nisa in the company? Pero, ajá, uh -huh. what mm. does Nisa do? Uh -huh. That's the most appropriate, what does Nisa do? Okay, she's in charge of purchases. 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 Okay, purchases. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Okay, no problem. Okay. Más o menos. Hello, guys. Okay. You finish? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. Mistake. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Or oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over the two? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay. Oh, yo comienzo. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you Miss John? Yes, I am. I am Mrs. Stade. I am a trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Stade. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am church and the kitchen staff. Great. You, Mr. John. What does girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's a church um purchases. Okay. Ready, teacher? Yeah, I guess you're ready. Okay. <laughs> oh, I guess everybody has already finished. Creo que la mayoría okay. terminó, así que vamos a revisar lo que tenemos, ¿ok? See you in the main section. Okay. Okay.
I write so the other ones are coming. So while they're coming, I'm going to project. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, good. Here it is. Okay, guys, who wants to be the first pair uh, to start with the practice? ¿Quién quiere ser la primera pareja en romper el hielo y practicar? Guys? Don't fight. Don't fight. <laughs> Solo uno a la vez, one at a time. <laughs> okay, si let's go. Le damos, profe. Hey, cool, let's go there. Bien. <laughs> okay, let's go, Katia. Go. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Mr. S Mrs. State. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mrs. State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is branch manager. And this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Uh, nice to meet you. I in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in share of purchases. All right. In charge of purchases. There you go. Good. Thank you, Juan and Katia. Now, Cristina. Cristina estaba que quería pasar. Right, Cristina, let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. Carlos? Okay, Cristina. Uh, Okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay, in search of purchases. Cool. All right, one of you boys, uh, can you please help me out choosing the next pair to participate? Cójenme la siguiente parejita. Nosotros? Yes. Okay. Um, a ver. Guillermo. Ya good. sabía, ya sabía. <ríe> Me le está devolviendo, ¿verdad? <ríe> yes. Ok, ok. Ok, there you go. Let's go, Guillermo. Ok, solo que... No empezaba yo. <ríe> Hello, ok. <ríe> Hello, good morning. Are you Miss Mr. Young? Yes, I am. <laughs> in Miss Tay, in the trainer, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Miss um, Tay, uh, let me introduce. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. 
Gakon, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What did you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great to meet Mr. John. What do? What does? <laughs> what does do? What does the hair over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. All right, so she's in charge of purchases. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Evelyn. And Guillermo, now, help me at choosing the next pair, please. Ella me escoge la siguiente participar. Maritza. Okay. Uh, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. And Mrs. State and the trainer, nice to meet you. Hello, nice, nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of the purchases. Yes, okay, good, good. Now, help me at choosing the next pair, please. Uh, ah. Adi, and come on, I'm going to attend. Okay, Maritza, thank you. <laughs> Brian, uh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Okay, good. Let's, let's continue. Hello, good morning. Are you Miss John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Day and the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Day. Mm -hmm. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. And this is mm -hmm. Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry. <laughs> nice meeting you, mm -hmm. Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Miss mm -hmm. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Purchases, okay, very good. Purchases. Yeah, purchases. Okay, guys, who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? ¿Qué parejita falta que participe? All right, so, okay, so nobody. Nobody's missing. Okay, guys. Rosalie. Ah. Rosalie, ya pasó. Rosalie, yeah, I think she has already participated, right, Rosalie? Teresa. Um, Teresa. Claudia. Where is Teresa? Jacqueline. <laughs> Uf, Pedro. <laughs> ah, no, I mean, Lise. no. All of them are <laughs> listeners. Teacher, don't participate. <laughs> You didn't participate? I can't. I can't. Ah, you cannot participate? I don't practice. Who are you working with, Rosalie? 
Porque estuve de oyente en esa parte, teacher. No lo practiqué. No lo practiqué. Ah, ok, cool. And Jacqueline, who are you practicing with? Yes. ¿Quién lo practicó? Un tal Carlos. <laughs> Pero no sé. Good evening, teacher. Ahí está. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, good morning. I need you, Mr. John. Yes, I am. I missed in the trailer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Mistake, let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the rush manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, and nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I I share on the kitchen stuff. Great you, Mr. John. What does the year over there do? She's nice. She's share of the purchases. 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 Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Jacqueline. Okay, Rosalie. Okay, guys. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar o colaborar a practicar con Rosalie? Please. Yo, teacher. Yo, teacher. Carlos dijo first. Así que, thank you, Cristina, for your offering. Okay. Uh, Rosalie, who wants you to be? Miss State or Mr. John? Um, anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, Miss, Miss State. Miss State. Okay, cool. Cool. So let's start. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss State. In the, I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the ranch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet, meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great, you. Mr. John, what does the gear over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Purchases. Okay, very good. There you go, guys. All right, let's go down. And thank I'm you. Okay, thank you to you. And thank you, Carlos, for help me, helping me out, okay? Good, now it says pair work. Complete the questions and then write the answers. It says, um, Cristina, help me out reading the first one. Como quedó la primera? Okay. Number one, number one. What does Mario in the staff? Ah, all right. So, what does no? Let me let me, let me see. What does Mario in the staff in the mm, staff? In here, we would just need something, Cristina. Así mire. What does Mario Mario? Necesitamos nada más el un verbo. Do exactly. What does Mario do? ¿Qué hace Mario? Oops. Okay. He is, he is the ranch manager. He is the branch, you said. Branch manager, yes. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so you got it like this. Okay, what about the number two? Katia? What do you do, Leo? Okay, good. What do you do, Leo? Okay, so what is Leo? Give me la respuesta. He's in charge of the kitchen staff. He is in charge of the kitchen. 
staff. Okay, very good. Now, number three, Brian. What does Nisa do? Okay, let me see. Let me see. What does Nisa do? Okay, cool. And what is the answer? She is in care of purchases. Okay, and we got it like this. She's in charge of purchases, right? Or purchase. Okay, guys, very good. So this is like what basically, all right, uh, we were doing. Now, I'm gonna stop in here for a moment and I want, we're gonna go to this one, guys. Okay, no me voy a detener a, a, a leer esta parte, okay, porque es parte de lo que hemos estado viendo en la presentación. Lo que sí me gustaría que terminemos antes. <risa> Listen, vamos a hacer algo con esto. Tenemos cinco three minutos. Aquí, Tenemos, aquí hagámoslo. Aquí, hagamos una cada uno. Dice. <risa> Tenemos cinco minutos. Ah, es algo así vamos a hacer. Bueno, Tenemos cinco minutos. Les voy a dar estos cinco minutos para las parejas como estábamos. Simplemente... Háganmelo y mañana lo vamos a revisar. ¿Ok? ¿Les parece? En cinco okay. minutos lo hacemos. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Listen. Si ven ustedes acá en paréntesis tienen los verbos. Estos verbos los van a colocar en las preguntas. Ustedes acá inclusive ya tienen la respuesta. Lo que van a hacer mm. ustedes es crear la pregunta dependiendo de lo que dice la respuesta. Ejemplo de ello. Por ejemplo, dice, Marta manages the sales department. So, la pregunta es, what department does Marta manage? Ah, you see? For example, les voy a ayudar con la número dos. Dice, I supervise the maintenance department. ¿Cómo va a ser la pregunta? What department do you supervise? supervise. What department do you supervise? Y ya tienen la pregunta ahí, ¿ok? Entonces, hagan cuatro, a I mí, mean, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Cuatro preguntitas van a ser nada más, ¿ok? Good. Okay. Nice. Let's go to practice, guys. As soon as you finish, we're going to come back in here, ¿ok? Let's go. bien él ¿eh? aquí, aquí está Brian también va sí. Sí. la tres Claudio Ay, no. Ah, me equivoqué de. <ríe> Sorry. Me equivoqué de. De manual. Sí. A ver. Ya, aquí está. Veintidós. Aquí. Oh, sí. Ah. 
my what plant do you use manufacturing ah no perdón where la respuesta es we manufacture in santana plant nosotros manufacturamos o pro, ajá, pro, fabricamos eh, en la planta de Santa Ana. En la planta de Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. en Santa Ana. Entonces sería, yeah. where do you... manufacture? No, where do you? Do you manufacture? Correct, correct. Very good. Manufacture. Y ahí es, what do you do, no, what does Douglas do? Es el seis. What does Douglas do? Yes. Uh Teacher, yes. I have a question. Eh, no necesariamente, se, eh, bueno, supongo que deberían de tener otras, otras formas de preguntarnos, simplemente las que estamos usando, ¿verdad? Debería de traer otra forma. ¿Cómo no necesariamente forma? solo tiene que ser una la pregunta. Mm. Me refiero a la de un ejemplo, ¿no? la tercera. Claudio Aversis de Branch en Ilopango. Como nosotros la contestamos, es where. Déjenme ver si entendí la pregunta. Ok, like. Donde dice eh, Claudio Aversis de Branch en Ilopango. Eh, necesariamente solo tiene que ser una pregunta. Correcto. Usando where? Yes. Only. O puede colocar la palabra, el, el which. El. Which branch does Claudio overseas? Oversight. Overseas. Oversight. Yeah. Overseas es otro, oversee es otro sinónimo de supervise. O sea, ¿cuál? Eh, la tres. Ajá, sería en lugar de dónde. De where. Porque es un lugar, sería cuál, como para elegir. Usando which. Ajá. Ya. Yeah. So, básicamente, ahí ya sería, like, let me see. Porque es que como la respuesta es Claudio Oversized Branch in Ilopango. ¿Ah? Está hablando de un lugar. Sí, correcto. Pero entonces ahí estamos hablando de la, de en sí, la sucursal. ¿Cuál de todas las sucursales? Ah, la que está en Ilopango. All right. Entonces ahí o bien es where o bien es which. Cualquiera de los dos. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno. Lo salí y... Ah, Report. Yep. Assembler report. What the? No, who? Who assembler report tendría que ser? ¿Cómo? Who? Assembler. Ay, who? Pero es que es como está preguntando a quién tiene que salir who. What does who? Who does assembly report? Creo. 
Así está bien, teacher. A ver, le dale otra vez. Who does the assembler's report? Who does the? The assemb assemblers. The assemblers. Assemblers report. Ok, who do the assemblers? Porque la palabra assemblers está en plural, right? Ah, ok. Who do the assemblers report? Yeah. Ok. Two, al final. Two. Two. Ah, ok. Report two. Yes. Ok. Alright, guys. Where? Okay. What we manufacture in Santa Clara? Where? Where sería, verdad? You see, where? Where? Where does? Or where do? Where does? Check, check the subject. Revisen el subject. Ok. Where, Before. where, where, where. We where does, where where does, does your company manufacture? Where does, ¿qué? Your company manufacture ah your where, company where ok where does pero es que dice we manufacture in Santa Ana plant right where plant your company manufacture ok listen up Okay, so in that case, it says we manufacture. Okay, so what plant? Ah, uh, what plant? Do you manufacture? What okay. plant? What plant do you manufacture? Okay. There you go. And the last the new, one. The new stuff. Douglas <laughs> brings the new stuff. Okay. What is the question? What do you do, Douglas? <laughs> no. What does Douglas do? Oh. What does, what does, what does Douglas do? Douglas. Douglas. Okay, Douglas. perfect. Good. Bueno, hoy sí. Los voy a mandar a la sección principal porque creo que la mayoría debe haber terminado, ¿ok? Ok, okay. perfect. Okay. All right, guys, creo que la mayoría terminó, así que uh, we are going to let this as a form of review for tomorrow's class, ¿ok? Lo vamos a dejar como un parte de review de la clase de mañana, así que mañana vamos a, re, a, a leer prácticamente, revisar lo que acaban de hacer, ¿ok? Good. So basically that's what we are going to be doing tomorrow at the beginning of the class, guys, ¿ok? Uh, just a quick follow-up, guys. Give me one second. I want to I want to tell you something. So everybody's coming back or ya se fueron. All right. No. Todavía están acá. Okay, I'm going to go and pass the attendance list guys, but before passing the attendance list, I want to tell you something. Guys, todavía tengo algunas personas que no me han hecho Nada de la plataforma. Listen, guys. Recuerden que si ustedes no completan las actividades de la plataforma, ustedes van a tener problemas al momento de 
ok, la calificación, ok, entonces eh, para esas personas que no me han hecho nada en la plataforma, ok, algunos de, de ellos están de oyente ahorita, traten de llenarla, please, ok, es realmente necesario y por lo visto no me han trabajado en nada, así que por favor, para los que no me han trabajado en la plataforma, tratemos de hacer las tareas y tratar de ponernos al día, ok, So, just, just a quick update, okay? So, son como unas cuatro personas, okay? Entonces, try, try to do us, uh, try to do that very, very quick, guys, okay? All right, so let's start with the attendance list. Adi Beatriz. Present. Okay, Ana Cristina. Present. Nice. Brian Aldair. Present. Ok. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present. All right. Carlos Enrique. Present. All right. Uh, Claudia Marcela. And present. Ok, good. Uh, let me see. Doris Alejandra. You got Doris here. I am a Jesus, a listener. Uh, Evelyn Karina. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Evelyn. Yes, uh, We haven't had the feedback yet, right? No hemos estado en, en, en feedback nosotros, ¿cierto? No. Hey, cool. ¿Se podría quedar esta noche conmigo un par de minutos extras? Sí, claro. Ok, there you go, thank you. Graciela Saraí. Graciela. No, ok, so she's not here. Guillermo Eduardo. Present. Ok, good. Irma del Tránsito. Okay, so she's not here. Jacqueline Ivon. Present teacher. Okay, good. Teacher, One. al inicio me había conectado del teléfono, pero no sé qué pasó, que mm. se me fue todo el internet. <laughs> <laughs> really? Te tuve que conectar del otro. Okay, sorry about that, okay. Bueno. bueno. Juan Carlos. I am here to share. Okay, cool. Katia Maria. Present. All right. Kenya Maricela. Present. Okay. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Nice. Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay. Pedro Rigoberto. Okay. So Rosalí Yvonne. Present. All right. Susana Carolina. Present. Okay. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Present. Okay, guys. It was a pleasure to have you here in another video conference. Let's see you tomorrow, okay? I hope you have a wonderful night, guys. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Okay, cool, Evelyn. So basically, uh, this couple of minutes is for us to clarify any question, any doubt that you can have with the platform, with this class or previous classes, okay? So it's basically un pequeño espacio para aclarar cualquier duda que podamos tener, ya sea con esta clase, clases anteriores o la plataforma. So I don't know, Evelyn, if you have any, eh, any question, any doubt with the topics. Okay, sí, teacher fees, que a mí me está costando eso de los verbs, so you will be infinitive. Lo que vimos en la clase antes del 8, creo yo, la clase del 8, de los, ¿cómo se llama? Ajá, de los verbos infinitivos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ajá. Y la cosa es que no, o sea, eh, mi duda es que no sé, o sea, cómo lo voy a, si ponerlos antes, después del, de la, o sea, es que me quedo así con esa duda, con, o sea, cómo ponerlos antes, después. Ah, vaya. ¿Usted se refiere a los infinitives? Uh -huh. Ok, good. Recuerde que un infinitivo básicamente es un verbo que se le agrega a la preposición to. Por ejemplo, si decimos el verbo eat, to eat, to play, all right, to dance, to work. Entonces, son verbos que por lo general se les agrega la preposición to. Y entonces de ese modo se convierten en qué? Verbos en infinitivo. Okay. Exactly. Así se les conoce a ese tipo de, eh, de verbos, ¿ok? Todos los tú son verbos infinitivos. Exactly. Con la preposición tú son verbos en infinitivos. Así se les llama a ese tipo de verbos, ¿ok? So, okay. ¿cuál es la función principal que un verbo plus infinity puede tener? Vaya, mire. Básicamente lo que un verbo de estos puede tener es que puede actuar como el sujeto dentro de la oración. Ok, ¿y cómo actúa como el sujeto? Cuando lo colocamos al principio de una oración. Ok, entonces en ese sentido ahí es que nosotros, right, podemos conjugar las estructuras y poner un verbo que actúe como un nombre, aunque... En sí, en sí, en sí, no sea un nombre. Right? ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, give me one second. I was looking at something. Uh, let's say. To work every day. Good. All right, to work every day makes me feel good. Ah, trabajar todos los días me hace sentir bien. Va, mire, si se fija, acá el, está el infinitivo. To work, right? Work. Exactly. Entonces, este es cuando va al principio, ¿ok? Cuando va al principio. No. To play soccer is amazing. Ah, jugar fútbol es... Maravilloso. Ok, si se fija, el, el, el infinitivo va al principio de la oración. Entonces acá, cuando va al principio de la oración, está actuando all right, como un sujeto, el infinitivo, porque lo estamos poniendo de primero. To work, to play. Ok, ahora bien, entonces nada. Este tipo de estructura también puede ir seguida de un, si se acuerda, puede ir seguida de un verbo adicional. Vaya, ¿qué verbos puede ir precedido de un infinitivo? Vaya, los verbos que van después de infinitivo pueden ser el verbo want, que significa querer, like, que es gustar. Uh -huh. All right, need, necesitar. In a somehow sleep, all right. O start, comenzar. Ahora bien, cuando usted vea un verbo de estos en una oración y vea que otro verbo quiere, quiere usted quiere colocar otro verbo después de estos, ese segundo verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. ¿Qué quiere decir en infinitivo? Ah, que usted le tiene sí o sí que agregar la preposición to, ¿ok? Al verbo. Va, mire, un ejemplo de ello, con want. I want to buy new shoes. All right. Puede observar acá. I want to buy new shoes. Mire, aquí tengo el verbo want. Pero mire, después del verbo want, ya tengo el verbo comprar en infinitivo. Right, I want to buy. 
right? So mm -hmm. that's completely different, if you see. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. ¿Por qué? Porque después de want, otro verbo no puede ir en forma base. El segundo verbo tiene que modificarse. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, usando like. I like to sleep after class. Ah, me gusta dormir después de clase. Si se fija después del verbo like, tengo el verbo sleep, que significa dormir. All right. Ahora bien, con este verbo, need, ¿sabe qué significa need, Evelyn? Eh, sí. Necesitar. Exacto. All right. ¿Podría ayudarme con una oración? Se la voy a decir en español. <risa> ah, vamos a ver. Yo necesito comer. Ah, ok. Vaya, en inglés, ¿cómo sería? Le voy a ayudar. I, 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 I need. Para decir yo necesito. I need. Yo necesito. Ahora bien. Comer dijo, ¿verdad? Comer, sí. To eat. Si se fija, ya lo tenemos. I need to eat. I need to eat. Ok, good. Now, ahora bien, con el verbo sleep, ¿podría ayudarme con uno, Evelyn? Sleep, recuerde, significa dormir. Sí, sí. Este, siempre dormimos a las ocho. Hmm. Yeah, o oh no, tiene que ser yo, necesito, o, o cómo. Va, cambiémoslo por el verbo go, para que se le haga más fácil. Ajá. Ahora bien, denme un ejemplo usando go, y ahí usted solo pone el verbo adicional. Go es ir, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I... Pero mi pregunta es, ¿siempre tiene que llevar I cuando menciono todo este tipo de verbos? No, esto es porque lo estamos haciendo en primera persona. Yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, Evelyn. Ok. Evelyn uh -huh. goes to... Ok, Evelyn goes to eat with her colleagues. Ah, Evelyn se va a comer con sus amigos o su, sus colegas en este caso. Pero si se fija después de go, va el verbo eat en infinito. Sí. Con sí. la preposición to. Ok, casi siempre que, que vea estos verbos, Significa que un infinitivo está ahí, ¿ok? Ahora con el verbo start, que significa comenzar. ¿Puede, ¿Puede ayudarme con un ejemplo, por favor? Yo comienzo, yo comienzo las clases de inglés. Ok, ahora bien. Póngamelo en inglés. Uh -huh. I start uh -huh. the o oh, es tú, tú verdad, tú, tu class. No, necesitamos otro verbo. I start to, por ejemplo, el verbo sí. practice. Practicar. I start to practice. Practice what? 
o así English. Exactly, English. Vaya, mire, I start to practice English. Entonces, después de estos verbos, el siguiente siempre tiene que ir así, en infinitivo. That's the idea, ok? I start to practice English. Ok, entonces recuerde que después de estos verbos, si va a colocar otro verbo adicional, ese verbo tiene que ir con infinitivo. ¿Y cuál es el infinitivo? Agregarle la preposición to al verbo, ¿ok? Entonces, puede actuar como un sujeto de la oración y a ti mismo, right, ¿ok? Como un objeto cuando vas precedido de otro verbo, que en este caso pueden ser verbos como want, like, need, go, start, right, and many more. Ok. Ah, pues. Ahora sí ya me quedó más claro, teacher. Hey, there you go. Cool. Mire, ¿con usted cómo vamos con la plataforma? Eh, creo que... Ah, yo no recuerdo o sea, hasta dónde la he dejado, pero no sé si me podría revisar ahí y decirme. Yes, claro que sí. Ahorita la revisamos. No se preocupe. Evelyn Karina. Ah, ok. Ah, no. Estamos bien. Ah, ok, bye. Evelyn Karina Molina, right? Sí, tiene 100% en la tarea 1 y tiene 40% en la tarea 2. Muy bien, muy bien. Se ve que ha ido avanzando más. That's excellent. Okay. Y bueno, está perfecto. Entonces, recuerde cualquier duda que usted pueda tener. All right? No dude en consultar ya sea en el grupo, ¿ok? O directamente a mi persona, ¿ok? O igual en las okay. clases. Si hay algo que no comprendamos... Enciende el micrófono y pregunte, ¿ok? Es, es, es bastante importante el poder hacer eso para, para que las dudas se vayan disipando poco a poco, ¿ok? Sí, teacher, gracias. Te ayudo, Fernanda. Ok, Karina. Uh, no problem, right, no problem. Así que me alegro que, que se haya quedado conmigo y pues eh, me haya, eh, digamos hecho ese tipo de, 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 de comentario y pues que ya vaya quedando ya claro al menos ese aspecto ya para usted, ¿ok? Sí, gracias. Digo, Evelyn, entonces, all right, nos vemos mañana en la última sí. videoconferencia de esta semana, ¿ok? Sí. Sí. Ok, thank you to you and have a wonderful night, ¿ok? Bye, bye.